What's up, everybody? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. We're back with another kit review. Yeah, check it out, man. E-Leaf's really been knocking it out of the park lately, man. They've been coming up with some nice devices, some nice kits, and let me tell you something. They've been up in their build quality game. They really have. Today, I have the E-Leaf Lexicon for you kit. All right, it's got that Elduro tank on there, right? Same thing as that El Vate. I don't, I don't know. They're kind of interchangeable. Same kind of tank. All right. Really good tank. I've reviewed it before in other reviews. Let's cut down low. Let me show you the whole mod, the whole kit, the menu system, the whole nine yards. All right. Then we'll come back on top. We're going to talk about it a little bit. Cons, pros, we're out of here. See you down low. All right, everyone. Welcome to the down low portion of this video. Today, we're going over the E Leaf lexicon kit all right check it out a little bit of social media on this side right barcode nothing there e-leaf there authenticity check right there okay on the back it lets you know what comes in the kit you get a lexicon mod an elo duro atomizer an hwn 0.2 ohm coil hwm 0.15 ohm coil a usb cable two user manuals and spare parts this is a 235 watt mod. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got here, all right? File that to the side. Take the box off. Mod comes out. Let's take this tray out for a second and put it to the side. Let's see what we have underneath here, all right? What we have here is a big box inside a bigger box, all right? What do we have in here? We have a USB cable. We have a bunch of paperwork. We have a warning card. File that to the side. We have a coil card. All right, pause that if you want to read it. Okay, we have an Elo Duro quick start guide and a Lexicon user manual. Also, we have a bag of spare gaskets and spare O-rings, okay? That's all gone to the side. Let's take a look at the actual tank. This is the Elo Duro tank. Really like the frosting and the way they match the drip tip. Nice job on that, okay? This is a top fill slider style tank. No locking mechanism. That's gonna be a con, all right? Nice wide bore 810 style drip tip, but it's the 810 drip tip with the O-rings on the drip tip itself, okay? Nice and tall, very comfortable, all right? Nice capacity on this tank. We got dual airflow on the bottom. That's the bubble glass, all right? It also comes with a straight glass spare that I'll show you in a minute. Stoppers on both sides, plenty of airflow. On the bottom, it says Elo Duro Tank, okay? With a gold-plated 510 and stainless steel threading around it. E-leaf on the bottom over here. In order to change the coil, all you do... Open it up, open the base up like that. This is the M coil, the HWM coil, 0.15 ohms, good from 55 to 100 watts. It's a mesh style coil in there, okay? In order to change the coil, you simply twist, pull it out, all right? Machining's very nice on this. The only thing I don't like, these rough edges over here. Here is the coil itself, all right? Again, no mention of material on the coil. That's going to be a con as well. Okay, here is the spare straight glass right here. That's also going to be a con. They should have included a spare bubble glass. Why would I want to go from a bubble to a straight? That's a downgrade in my opinion, okay? Here is the spare coil, all right? This is the HWN 0.2 ohm coil, good for 40 to 80 watts. You can see it's got a different type of mesh material in there, but, you know, they're kind of the same. It's just a little different in the way they're configured. The actual mesh is configured, but very close. All right, let's put this tank back together, and I'll show it to you on the actual mod itself. Okay, but before we even do that, let's get into the top side of the mod. We have a gold-plated spring-loaded 510. I would call it a stiff spring with a medium throw. Two star screws holding the top plate on top here. You have a bunch of LEDs going around the actual 
mod. I like this little triangular cutout here. I think it gives it a nice uh, shape. Okay. Here is your screen right here. It is a fingerprint magnet. Here are your up and down buttons. USB charge update port. It does charge at 2 amps. Here is your fire button. Kind of like a diamond shape. They did a nice job on that. Some lexicon branding here. A little bit of a brushed look on it. But like I said, it is a fingerprint magnet. In order to get to the batteries, push down, pull out. All right. On the battery door, you can see we have some clear battery indicator markings, also labeled one and two. We also have gold plated button style contacts. Let me take them out a second. If you look down the tube, you'll see clear battery indicator markings as well. Those gold plated contacts are spring loaded. All right. Load your batteries in like so. Push the battery door down and push it in. There's also some venting present over here. Now you'll see some lights. Okay. Has a whole bunch of different lights. Button lights up, everything. Here is your screen right here. Okay. One, two, three. Now you can scroll between wattage mode, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, M1, M2, M3. All right, and back to wattage mode. Okay, now one, two, three. Put it into temperature control mode. All right, you'll see the screen layout. Individual battery cells over here, wattage over here, puffs, resistance, temperature, mode, and what you're in Celsius or Fahrenheit. All right. Now, if you want to change your wattage in temperature control mode, you click the fire button four times. Right? Now you'll notice your wattage is there. You can go up and down from there. Okay? Scrolls in one watt increments. Let's go back to power mode. All right? Right there. Now in wattage mode, it scrolls in one watt increments up to 235 watts. It does not round robin. If you want to enter into the other parts of the menu system, you hit the plus button and the fire button together, and that will bring you to this menu system. Over here, you can, that's your sub para. You can pick whether you want to show time, amp, or puffs. All right. You can see I have 996 puffs. Over here, you can pick your preheat and how long you want it to power on that preheat for. Okay. This is your logo screen. I leave it off. This is your stealth mode, on or off. I leave it off. All right. We did the preheat. Logo we went over already. Here's your screen color mode all right you can pick what color you want your lights to be here's the mode for the lights you can have them either like that in that pattern in this pattern or in the signal pattern all right this is how long you want your light show to be on if you want it to be on for 10 minutes always or off okay that's what it says in the manual this is your version tell you what version software you have or firmware this is your battery tells you what each individual cell is doing okay and back to your preheat setting all right so now if we want to exit out we exit out that way and in order to lock the mod you hold the up and down button together and the keys are locked hold it together again and the keys are unlocked all right and that's basically it folks that's the whole menu system for the Lexicon by eLeaf. Let me put it all together for you. Give you one quick look at it, how it looks like when it's all put together. It's actually a good looking setup, I think so at least. And there you go. That's what it looks like with the bubble glass. You know, nice looking setup. Lights are really, really nice. This is one of the few mods that I don't mind the lights on. All right, let's cut back on top. Let's talk about it a little bit. All right, cons, pros. And then we're out of here. See you back on top. All right, everyone. Welcome back on top. 
you just saw the E-Leaf Lexicon kit up close and personal. Nice kit, man. 235 watts, scrolls in one watt increments, easy menu system. I like the shape. I'm digging that cutout they did on the corner there, okay? Lights, if you like lights, man, lights galore. Let's get into the official cons and pros, okay? First con is going to be that plus and minus button, as you saw down low. They're really close together. If you got like fat knockwurst like fingers, you can hit them both at the same time very easily. I also think the display is very small in proportion to the size of the actual mod. I wish the screen was bigger, okay? We're going to give them a con on that, okay? Another thing I really don't like about this mod is it has an always keep the lights on option. First of all, that's a stupid option. It's ridiculous to keep them on all the time. There's no reason for it, okay? And the other thing is it could be dangerous because I don't know if it's got a cell cutoff for that and if it can drain your batteries dangerously low. So I wouldn't recommend that anybody use that option. Elif, I would highly recommend you do an update and take that option off the board, all right? Other cons going to be there's no material on the coils. Elif, you got to get with the program. You got to start putting your coil material on the coils. And the other con's going to be typical Elif TC, okay? It kind of sucks with dual coils, all right? It throws you out of TC all the time. It's okay with a single coil, but for some reason with dual coils, it just doesn't seem to work right. Elif, if you're not going to do TC correctly, then just make power mode mods. And I say that to every manufacturer who doesn't do, do TC correctly. If you're not going to do it properly, then just make it a power mode mod because it's frustrating already, all right? This has been going on for years. Fix it, okay? And the last con I'm going to give it is the tank. It doesn't have a locking option. There's no lock on that slider. So if you're a real-world vapor like me and you're carrying this thing around all the time, very easy for this thing to slide open in your pocket and dump juice all over you. If you're going to do a top fill, you got to have some type of locking mechanism, okay? So they're going to get a con for that. All right, let's get on to the pros because there's, there's quite a few of them, all right? First pro is going to be great tank, great flavor, plenty of airflow, okay? I like the way they matched it up with the mod itself, okay, with the glass and the drip tip. Great job on that. Okay, I think the coils are fantastic. They're going to get a pro for that. I like the mesh and the net coil. Really nice job. Love the clear battery indicator markings on the door, on the inside of the door. They made them in white. Pro on that. Love this angled top plate, right, where they cut the corners off and put some lights in there. I dig it. I like it. Like the form factor. Okay, easy to finger fire. Easy to thumb fire. We'll give them a pro on that. Build quality. Elif's stepping up their game in the build quality department. I'm going to give them a pro on that, okay? I'm going to give them a pro that it comes available in great colors. Pro for that, okay? I like the fire button. It's fantastic. It's big. It's clicky. It's tactile feeling. Great job on the fire button. Pro on that, okay? I'll give them a pro because the TC is okay with a single coil, but for some reason it doesn't do well with dual coils. Okay, but I'll give them a pro for the TC with a single coil. Solid battery door, okay? Put this thing down, no issues. It doesn't pop open. Pro, okay? Let's give them a pro on the easy menu system. This menu system is easy, very intuitive, okay? And I'm also going to give them a pro on the lights. Yeah, that's right. You guys know I normally don't like lights. On this mod, I don't mind them. They're not that bad. They're highly configurable. I like that. I can shut them off if I want to. They're going to get a pro on that, okay? Overall, though, I got to tell you, I really do enjoy this kit. I've been using it for quite a few months now, two or three months now. It's fantastic, all right? Make sure you check out our links down below as to where you can buy this awesome kit, all right? Make sure you check out our link for the juice that we use today. We use Sugoi Vapor, RYU. Yeah, it's summertime. Time to get your fruit vape on, all right? This one is Kiwi dragon fruit and lychee with a little bit of a cooling agent really really nice summertime vapor right we'll have a link down below to our forum vapinginsider.com forward slash forum that's all i got for you guys today you keep living that vape life we're out of here deuces